What's up guys, your boy DJ Stash, getting on the review of today's episode. I'm reviewing two new variations at Jack in a Box. The first one gonna be the fish sandwich. Well, I'll say it's like kind of a return. Uh, I just saw it on the uh, Chum Boom website. I really use that one. Usually I'll go to the brain eating, but I didn't see it on brain eating, but I just saw it like on somewhere, I think just a regular Jack in a Box website that this was out currently. It's like this one and like the uh, other one I'm gonna review. Which you can check it on the other video. Which should probably be like side by side videos on this. But they came out at the same time. But yeah, saying this, check in a box. Welcomes the arrival of 2018 Linton season with the return of Brand's classic fish sandwich. So the fish sandwich features a hunter, 100 percent keep it 100 uh, Alaskan whole lock fish fillet fried up in a panko breading and topping with creamy taro sauce and shredded lettuce on a freshly buttery bun. It says the sandwich is available for a limited time at just many locations. And it's part of a combo with fries, small drink for four bucks. So I got I got both of these a combo because I'm still on diet. I was like, yep, I'm gonna be a fat ass. <laughs> got them both large, got one curly fries for one, regular fries on the other, so I can have half and half. Because I usually if I go to Jack and Box on the regular, I always get that mochi meal. It's the bomb. But yeah, we'll try this out. This, this flip when I pulled it out, I was like, I was expecting to be in a box, but uh, it's a lot smaller than I would have anticipated. I've never had the fish sandwich. I've never had the fish sandwich like I lost before, so kind of treat. Uh, it's pretty plain. Yeah, it's it's definitely not how it looks in the uh, in the picture here on the Chumbo website. It's like screaming with the lettuce and the sauce, and it looks it looks pretty sad. <laughs> you know, there's nothing underneath it either. It's just sad. All right, guys, we're trying it out. Jack in the Box fish sandwich. Cheers. Oh, man. The breading is okay, but it has way less tartar sauce in it. It needs way more. It needs way more tartar sauce. That's all you're really getting. It's just a fish. Mm. I only get mainly of it in like the middle of the other uh, lettuce in the sauce. I'm like, that's really plain. I mean, four bucks. It's pretty sad. I mean, even though, you know, the combo four bucks, but I mean, even the large, I didn't even know until I looked at them. Like, I wanted like water of water. I charge like a dollar eighty for like bottle of waters. You know, like large fries, extra too. I'm like, that's eh, well, fuck, I get a box. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sad. I don't give us an average in the price and everything. I don't have to give us a three out of five. It's pretty sad. I mean, I can eat it, but it's not terrible. You know I mean, it's just not enough for what they're trying to give you. Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my plugins down below. And stay tuned for the other review I'm gonna do. It's gonna be the sourdough from Chuck in a Box. So I got the uh, double meat for that one. So be sure to check that one out. See if it's even better. And be sure to hit that notification bell right there below, but next to my channel, so you can stay tuned to all my future videos, like the one I'm gonna do for the Chuck in a Box, or the other one for Chuck in a Box. And until next time, guys, this is your boy DJ Stash saying peace.